Hey everybody, this is Coach Halverson here, and today I'm going to talk about deadlifts. So deadlifts are strength-based lifts used to develop strength and flexibility in the muscles of the legs, hips, lower back, and core. People that do deadlifts tend to be people who um, do explosive movements. So think about your football linemen, throwers, jumping events, so long jump, high jump, and basketball players. Uh, to demonstrate the deadlift, I'm going to have one of my lifters at Hardin Valley Academy named Ricky Padrone demonstrate the proper deadlift form. Drive, drive, drive! Alright, so now that you've seen the deadlift in action, I want to point out that there are four distinct phases of the deadlift. First one is the preparatory phase, so this is where you're setting up to make the bar move. The second is the drive phase, so this is actually when you get the bar off of the ground. Next is knee clearance, so obviously you're going to clear your knees. And the fourth stage is lockout, which is really engaging the glutes and extending out through all of your positions. Now I'm going to break down each of these positions specifically. Alright, so this is Ricky in his preparatory phase. Um, things you'll notice are that his feet are flat on the ground, his weight is in his heels. Something he could correct a little bit would be able to get his chest up a little bit more but you notice that he's very, very engaged through his body, which is what we want. Um, bringing this into the anatomy, we notice that the adductors are open, um, there's quad engagement, and we're really, really noticing that your traps are involved in your upper body. This allows you the ability to build tension through the bar. This will be very, very important moving into your drive phase because this is how you build up tension and eventually are able to lift the bar off of the ground. All right, next we're gonna talk about Ricky's drive phase. So if we look at where he's at right now, you see that the bar is moving directly up his shins from the floor. Um, this happens because he's engaging his glutes and pulling straight through the midline of his body. This works because we are executing uh, a movement through the center of mass. Something you can notice with Ricky that he could improve is because his chest was down in his preparatory phase, now moving into his drive phase, he is a little bit more hunched over and the weight is pulling him forward. So once you have an error in a previous phase, it tends to affect the next phases moving forward. Uh, the muscles that are used in the drive phase are mostly glute muscles. So if we look at the anatomy, we'll notice that there is engagement through the hamstrings, um, those are really working to counterbalance the weight. And then you'll notice that the glutes are engaged, which is uh, making the hips follow through and move forward. Um, looking at this example of proper positioning, Ricky is more of a three. Um, this is problematic because you see that his chest is falling over the bar. Ideally, we want to be somewhere with a two positioning. Um, you could end up with uh, this first positioning if your hips get out from under you too far, you end up with a third positioning if your chest gets forward and you end up extending your knees first. So the third phase of the deadlift is your knee clearance. And this is something that Ricky is exceptionally good at. This is where you have gotten the bar up off the ground, you've used your glutes to engage to get it past a squatting position, and now you clear the knees. Uh, in order to do this, you use musculature of the hip flexors, and the back. So these are very, very strong core muscles that are prepared to handle this kind of weight moving through your body as long as the bar is close to you. So the muscles engaged are your psoas major and iliacus mostly. So these are your very, very deep hip flexors. Most people don't even see these muscles or can feel them because they're so deep. Um, you also engage your rector spinae muscles. So these are the very long muscles in your back that run from your neck all the way down to your hip. Um, and they connect at the sacrum, and these muscles are what help you start to finish your lift into the lockout position. So the fourth and final position of deadlift is the lockout. So this is how you finish your lift. Um, how this works is you get to the top of the lift, your chest comes forward, you roll your shoulder blades down and back, engage the glutes, and straighten the legs. Um, talking about the front of the body, what you'll notice is that the quads flex. You'll notice that these are the muscles right under the hip, between the hip and the knee. Quads flex and those hip uh, extensors are really engaging again as well. So that's your iliopsoas, 
complex. Um, talking about the back of the body, you'll notice that the glutes are a major component of how this lockout occurs. You'll notice the glutes contract as well as the hamstrings. Now it is important to note that the quads and the hamstrings are contracting. This is because it's offering stability to that hip complex and the erector spinae muscles of the lower and upper back. This is how we achieve the lockout position. Um, without this engagement of the front chain and the posterior chain, we'll not be able to finish the deadlift properly. All right, so with all of these positionings in mind, I want you to take a minute and re-watch Ricky's deadlift video and see if you can identify all of the different muscles that are engaging during his deadlift. Drive, drive, drive! All right, hopefully in that video you were able to see all four phases of the deadlift that we were working through this video to describe and understand the different parts of anatomy. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to email me at the descriptor at the bottom of the scrolling credits. A special thank you to Harden Valley Academy for letting us use the weight room, and a special thanks to my lifter, Ricky Padrone, for volunteering to be videoed for this program. Thank you, and have a good day.